a quick review of the new Lego Marvel Spideyverse Green Goblin set number 10793. 84 pieces. This is a four plus set with three minifigures. This set will be released on March 1st for $20. And overall, it is a pretty cool build. It comes with three separate manuals, as you can see. And one of the best parts about this is it shows kids how to build Lego. So look at this. That is a really cool feature. It's a good way to get young children into Lego. All right, so we're going to alternate back and forth between the small builds and the minifigures. And overall, this isn't a bad build. I really liked the little crab here. Again, keep in mind, this is a four plus set and Lego is teaching children how to build Lego while building this set. So overall for a four plus set, $20 set, this isn't a bad little build. And I really do like that crab. It looks really, really cool. The minifigure that is featured with that small build in this set is Spider Gwen, but she's not Spider Gwen in the show. She is Ghost Spider, but I always just look at her as Spider Gwen. Uh, and I like the hair piece. And look, these are uh, the arm pieces have the webs attached to them, which is a pretty neat feature, but it does get in the way. It pops the helmet off as you go back and forth. Uh, so it's something to keep in mind. But I'm definitely happy to add this minifigure to my collection. I'm definitely a fan of Marvel, and I like seeing all these different minifigures. And it's nice that Lego is bringing uh, the kids' show minifigures into things. So it's nice that the kids can get minifigures from the show that they're watching on Disney+. Plus. Next up, we have Green Goblin's Hovercraft here. And overall, not a bad build. You can move the uh, the wings around a little bit. You get Tracy as well. For y'all that don't watch the show, Tracy is one of the characters in the TV show. And I like the pumpkins on the outside too. Lego definitely did a good job with this little mini build here. I like the green and the purple along with the orange. It just looks really good. And I think it looks pretty accurate to the show for the most part. I mean, again, considering this is a four plus set. Taking a quick look at Tracy, it's hard to do because he's so small, but overall, I think Lego did a great job with this, and I'm happy to add this little figure, uh, I guess we'll call it a little figure, to the collection. I think Lego did a good job here. Now taking a look at one of the main villains in the show, Green Goblin, and Lego did a good job with this figure as well. Just keep in mind, all these figures have the little small legs here. I like the torso printing, no arm printing, but I like the green that they did there, and the helmet mold they did good here. This is one helmet mold here, or we'll call it helmet mold, I guess, even though it's more of like a hair piece. Uh, but I think Lego did a good job here, and I like that mold. And taking a look at one of his face variants, and does he have a second one? He sure does. I always like it when Lego has two different faces for every single minifigure. Wrapping up this review with the final build of the set, uh, Spidey, I guess this is like some type of water vehicle here. And this is one big piece here. So I can't imagine that this was like the cheapest piece for Lego to design. Uh, so I think overall you do get some nice value from the set for just $20. This does spin around here. Spidey sits inside the cockpit area. This, this red piece here too, this is like one long piece as well. So you get some pretty cool uh, big pieces in this set and then this is also printed there are no stickers in this set and then we'll take a closer look at the spidey minifigure i really like this spidey minifigure i think it looks really well and lego did a good job with this figure one face which is expected on the spider-man minifigures and overall taking a look at this set it's definitely worth twenty dollars you get three really nice minifigures and i think uh, lego did a good job with the set and it's priced appropriately for a four plus set i know it's only around 80 pieces but with the minifigures and the bigger pieces i think it's priced right and definitely a must have for the lego marvel fan and for the kids let me know what y'all think leave some comments and be sure to subscribe to the channel for future lego content